Hey, how's it going guys? It's Charles with West USA Realty, Team Minic, and today we're gonna to go over our October market update. Check it out. Hey, how's it going guys? It's Charles Barrett with West USA Realty, Team Minic. I'm your friendly neighborhood realtor here in the West Valley of Arizona. And if you're watching this, you're gonna get the numbers and the information that we have on our real estate market here in the West Valley of Arizona. So as always, we go over our five major items, we go over our active listings, we go over our sold listings, we go over our median price per square foot, that's the money, folks. And then we go over our months of supply and then we wrap up with our median days on market to try to make sense of what's happening in this real estate market with our investments, if it's, if it's a good time to buy, if it's a good time to sell, and so on and so forth. So without further ado, Let's get into the numbers. So the first thing that we're gonna be looking at is our active listings. So right now our active listings are up just a little bit, 3.8%. So the market is, is, is pumping up a little bit more homes that are for sale. Uh, Tullison is leading the pack with like 43% year over year. And then we're looking at Sun City West, that's actually down 36%. We're starting to shift and see this big split and disparity of the market of homes selling really fast and then home selling a little bit lower because the two markets as we enter into this fourth quarter uh, you're going to start to see that it's, it's changing right typically the normal housing market single family homes residential are going to start to slow down we're going to start to see uh numbers kind of increase but we're not really seeing that and then the active adult community we have a huge population here the sun cities the sun city west pebble creek and goodyear things like that we usually see those kind of start to ramp up as people come down and enjoy our arizona summer right so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens over these next couple months now, when we look at our sold listings, overall, they're down 8.3% when we're looking at our actual sold listings. Uh, now, when we're looking at, that's the average of the West Valley, there's some cities that are up. Tullison, 18%. Phoenix is down 20%. 20% less homes sold year over year uh, in, in, in uh, excuse me in Phoenix. So, but the average is still down point, uh, excuse me, 8.3%. Now, when we're looking at our median sales price, our median price per square foot, it actually has gone up about 32%. This is something that every city, if unless you're under a rock somewhere, everybody's up crazy numbers. Uh, on average, West Valley, we're at 32%, 32 and a half. Uh, Levine is up 50%, 51% to be exact, year over year. Um, and then as we move on to months of supply, here's where we're going to start to see a lot of the, again, the uh, the media. We're going to see a lot of headlines saying the housing market has cooled down. I'm going to give you the numbers. You make your decision how you feel about this. So the months of supply are actually going up. That means there are more homes that are not selling fast enough to where people can actually find a house to buy, which is really good for my buyers. Um, so that they're up 13%, 13.2% overall in the West Valley. Now, you're gonna have, with that being said, you're gonna have some cities that are up more than that. Goodyear, I'm looking at you, uh, you're up almost 50%, 49% months of supply. That means that's like half is on top of what they had, right? So when the month supply, but here's the crazy thing, we're still not even at a month of supply and the, the term is months of supply generally you're going to have more we haven't been past two months of supply in years so right now we're not still at one percent but we're starting to see the we're starting to see things shift just a little bit to where it's starting to be kind of oh accessible for people to buy because it was so low for so long Buyers couldn't even buy, had, people had to rent because they couldn't pay an extra $40,000 over to get a house because there was simply nothing available. So we're starting to see this kind of balance out a little bit. So if you're looking to buy, here's the hope, here's the shining light. Uh, with that being said, Sun City's months of supply are actually down like 30%, which is 0.6 of a month, like like almost, we'll say, we'll round it down, we'll say half of a month, right? It's a couple weeks uh, that we're looking at for Sun City uh, when it comes to months of supply. So again, these these completely opposite markets, all in the same market, it's, it's very crazy what's happening post last year and all the madness that has been happening with our real estate market. But I can definitely see it starting to slow down. I don't see a crash coming like some people think and hope um, maybe next time, but uh, everything's just kind of 
trying to get back to a normal pace is still very seller heavy, seller dominant. If you're thinking of selling, it's still a really good time to sell um, before interest rates go up and things like that. Now, median days on market. Now they're down 16%. Uh, overall in the West Valley. Some cities are up like Glendale's up 22%, but Avondale, I'm going to consider this with that, with all the other stats, um, Avondale's days on market is like 11, uh, the median days on market. Um, and they're down, I, I think it was like 40, so it's a crazy percentage. We'll throw it up on the screen. Um, but then we're looking at El Mirage, it's about nine days on the market, but median days on market overall in the West Valley is about 21 days. So with that being said, things are still crazy. Still the wild, wild west over here. Um, if you want to see your city, see more information on housing in general, go ahead and click the link. We have a page just dedicated to the West Valley City so you can see your numbers and how you're trending, whether you're looking to buy or whether you're looking to sell. Share this with a friend. Um, I feel like I'm just talking to the camera, but you know, people have been messaging me that this stuff helps. So I'm going to keep doing it if you guys keep wanting it. So um, as always, it's Charles West USA Realty. If you have any questions about real estate, buying or selling your home, please let me know. I'll talk to you soon.